We have four friends, Ashley, Bobby, Charlotte, and Dennis. And of course, Ashley and Bobby are in love. And they must be next to neighbors in this grand hallway of Let's Solve Hotel, which contains 10 rooms. So we have to make sure we put Ashley and Bobby next to each other. And in the same way, Charlotte and Dennis are in love, and they must be next room neighbors as well. However, here is an exception. Ashley and Charlotte had a small fight a day before, and they cannot, they cannot be next room neighbors. And we wish to find how many ways the four friends can select their rooms. Before I go on, I want to recognize F. Marco F. Marco, who made appearance once again with the very first person to correctly answer the last week's challenge. And the correct answer was 210. Congratulations to F. Marco F. Marco. Obviously, this constraint that Ashley and Charlotte cannot have cannot be next room neighbors is making this question a little bit complicated. So let's start by disregarding, let's start by ignoring this condition, let's start by ignoring this restriction and just counting how many ways we can put four of them into 10 rooms such that Ashley and Bobby are next to each other and Charlotte and Dennis are next to each other. Whenever you have constraints in counting problems, if you think about the question without the constraint, the problem often becomes very easier. So, in our case, we want Ashley and Bobby to be next to each other, so let's consider them to be one entity. So let's say AB or BA is, let's say, they are X. And we know we have C and D, which make up, let's say, couple Y. And we want to arrange X and Y, and since we are using of four rooms from X and Y, so we're using four rooms from X and Y, we have six rooms left, so let me just put blank spots for the six of them. So we have eight, eight spaces, we have eight spaces, eight spaces, two plus six, and we are picking two of them to be X and Y. So, we have 8 ways of picking where X goes, where couple AB goes, so there's 8 ways of doing so, and there are 7 leftover ways of picking where couple Y is going to go. So we have 8 times 7 as the number of ways we can assign X and Y, and of course, within X, it can be AB or BA, so we have to multiply this thing by 2, and within Y, it can be CD or DC, so we have to multiply by 2 again. And this gets us 56 times 4, which is 224. Now of course, we got 224 by ignoring this re restriction that Ashley and Charlotte cannot be next room neighbors. So 224 is overcounting. This is larger. We have overcounted. This 224 is larger than what our answer should be. So how can we get our answer? Well, the only restriction we have is that Ashley and Charlotte cannot be next room neighbors. So if we can count the cases where Ashley and Charlotte are next room neighbors, then we can take away those cases from 224 and we should be left with all the valid cases. So the only way we're going to have problem is if we have a BA CD in a row where A and C are next to each other, or DC AB where C and A are next to each other. And if we have BA CD as one entity in a row, then we can have either zero rooms, zero rooms to the left, and six rooms to the right. So that's one possibility. So that's one possibility, zero rooms here. Or we can have one room to the left and five rooms to the right. So that's the second possibility. Or we can have two rooms to the left, four rooms to the right, and all the way to six rooms on the left. So we have a case where we have zero room to the left, one room to the left, all the way to the six rooms to the left. So there are seven ways for BACD, and since DCAB can be counted exactly the same way, there's another seven case, yielding 14 cases we should take away from 224. So our final answer is 224 minus 14 to 10. Four.